So, I want to show you something. This is a uh, fan. It's a, a Lasco brand. I got it from Walmart. It is cheap. And being cheap, uh, it fell over and uh, one of the two feet broke off. The good news here is that the company Lasco has made available all the parts to this fan online as STL files. Which means that if you have a 3D printer, you can print a new one. So I uh, downloaded the STL file and I, I sent it to uh, a friend of mine who's got a 3D printer and he gave me two feet to replace it with. And I don't think there's a difference between the, the white and the black one, so I'm going to put the, the white one on. And uh, I, I took it apart and I took the took the broken foot off already. So let's let's replace the foot and see how it works. Okay, got the back off. Now let's see. <clears throat> seems that this uh, just should slide in. Let's see if that works. Whoa, look at that. Just slides in like that. And now I should be able to, if everything is working correctly, I should be able to slide this back down. Look at that. It cracked. So the 3D printing uh, results in a, a crack along that kind of laminate. And that's, that's just the nature of the printing. Well, that's interesting. But I think it will still hold. Let's, let's try putting the black one in. See if it does the same thing. See if there's a difference in the material. Yep. It also gives me a, just a very slight crack. So I think this is how it's supposed to function, or let's just say it's the best it's gonna get. Okay, so slide these back in. So here's the interesting thing, is like, because of that crack, because of that crack, uh, this little uh, ledge, which should cling, here, and, and pinch, Into that, there's a little, there's a little, uh, I don't even see it, there's a little edge right there. It should stick to that. It won't stick. So that means that this part will come in and out. Hmm. Whereas this part is in tight. So what I think I'm going to do, is I think I'm going to glue this in. And I'll put a drop of glue in this. And see if that solves my problem. So what did we learn? Well, we learned that the 3D printed parts have a strong anisotropy. And we knew that, and as a result, sometimes the strain state they're placed in uh, result in uh, failure. That would not happen if you had, say, a uh, injection molded part, such as the original part. So what I've done is I've taken and I've applied some, applied some of this uh, JB Weld uh, quick setting epoxy. So it's supposed to set in five minutes and cure in uh, one hour and I, I put the foot in place 
and hopefully uh, in an hour's time this will be all set.